All right, welcome back. We apologize for those technical hitches. They happen a lot on live TV. Now, I want you to end up in a conversation here to talk about knowing what are some of the things Ukitaka Kuishi Maisha Marefu ni lazima wachane now. Now, Frank will go on a story of comedy. I'm about to go to my sema. I'm saying the more unafanya watu wana checker, the more wana crack their ribs, the more life span yao ya kuishi inaendelea. Exactly. Unapata mwenye kila time amekasirika, Yeah. ako easy to absorb negative things in mind uh -huh. but kama unacheka you open up your new life ile tumecheka body yako ina relax uh -huh. then you start a new life unaona it's like umefanya simu kama ni simu umefanya uh, me refresh unaona okay. so ina kwa easy for wenye mwenye ako na furaha kila time au mwenye anacheka kila time kuishi long life compared to mwenye ame kila siku amebonda kama sufia uh -huh. ya ushago <laughs> Interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, I do. Uh, but though kuna kuanga na ile facade flani ati wase maoni wa Turkana ama wase nyana kuanga kwa dry cuz ile era ziko na drought wanaishingi sana but the new kweli. Do you agree to say uko kwa drought wanaishingi sana? Especially wa Masai wa Turkana nini nini? Ama ni msemo tu. Ya unajua mtu mahali unajipata dasa au get adaptation so obstacles mingi as well before but before but a stable sport kwa maisha kuna vitu mingi unafa overcome mm -hmm. utapigana na vitu mingi i'm sure pia kwa track kwa community yako pia kuna zile vitu zenye uh, kama boy child lazima upitie cd ceremonies flani sasa zingine zingine ni hash kabisa mm -hmm. sasa zingine ku survive kuna wase wenye wengine u give up on the way so yeah kama hiyo circumcision yetu so inakwanga cd uwe na mbuzi wengi ndio uende through but hata hawafanyangi uh, circumcision wakati but then hiyo tu tu nile it's natural tu na unaweka nywele hivi then una but ni mbuzi ni wengi sana so ukataka na usipokuwa na mbuzi wa kupeana ili ufanywe process then you cannot proceed uh -huh. so ili na hiyo process ya hiyo circumcision yetu ni lazima ugo through ili uwe mtu mzima uwe mtu mzima usipopazi hiyo hata uwezi wa hata kuna mtu atakujua so sahi kama dada yako ameolewa aha eh uwezi pata mbuzi uwezi kuna hiyo portion uwezi pata portion ya mbuzi kama wewe uje fanyie hiyo fanyie hiyo ni kama ritual ama yeah, right of passage uwezi uwezi pata aha. so na tena ni kama unalipa ile ufanyie so unangangana so kama hamna mbuzi wengi wala ya kutosha so unaweza kupata kwa marafiki ili yeah. ufitin Yeah. yeah. Na uh, ku, ku deal na pressure ya kimaisha unajua uh, kuna venye ku, kuna peers wako ama tuseme kuna ile rende ama boys kuna wale wa momoka wako na life fit na wao uko tu hapo chini unajaribu lakini how make it uh, unaweza fanyaje ndo ufike hiyo spot yenye utaishi pia life fit utaendelea kuwa na maisha mafiti kama wao wengine. So tukaanza vile alisema vile vile alisema ukaenda um, kwa ma clubs maybe hapo ndio na kwa na preach sana so unaanga hapo vile watu maybe wanaweza kuwa wanachukua mapombe ya pesa mingi ama vitu tu pesa mingi na wao una so yeah. si lazima pia uende ujikombe na watu so kama unaweza chukua kasoda na ujibambe na mangoma si metosha unarudi tu nyumbani kulala si lazima ukunywe pombe na unaweza kufa hadi yeah. so na pia si lazima utake kuwa kama nani ni unani yeah. maybe yeah akona akona sponsor ama kwa ni wadozi so ndio maana inafanya hiyo hivyo so yeah. una private private uanze na level yako yenye huko so kama uko na pesa kidogo unaweza sasa kwa biashara kidogo utajikuta tu baadaye huko juu yeah yeah so si lazima ni ujikimbize na maisha so okay. ni pole pole tu okay yeah. sa asante uh, let me come back to you uh, frank uh, kuna kwa comments kuna mtu alikuwa amesema negative mindset and on a before overcome story in a negative mindset 
kuna 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 vitu na foko umepitia zimefanya ukafika hiyo place like uko na negative attitude towards some certain people ama una feel some certain type of way ku so watu fulani walikutreat vibaya ama nini but before kuje hiyo place hadi ya kupona hadi uheal lazima uko umepitia ile process ya kuji inaitwaje self evaluation nini nini pale ukajitambua ukasema ah mimi sasa hizi ni mambo ya kusamea na ni move on sasa zingine ni hard but lazima tu you must do it yeah ni kama kuoga na kuni soko zingine ukiachwa unaoga au ni soko life uh, okay okay life will give us chance to live yeah but not the way you want okay so kwanza lazima ukuwe mtu mwenye ako ready for change very fast kama kitu jenda ni unataka you make a u turn then you find another direction number 2 number 2 kuna part a sa zingine ulikuwa uko na process of life okay like unataka uh, i'm told we have to fix your mic bro so okay and like fix uh, let, let me come back to you uh, edu um sa zingine edu kuna kuna ile pressure ya ku face kwa wazazi wanataka fulfill a certain level of life na maybe haiko in charge ama haiko haiendanishi na yale maoni yake yenye unataka but mzee anataka nataka ufanye nataka ufanye engineering but wewe unataka kufanya engineering wewe unataka ukue actor unataka kumaliza kuwa comedian kama Frank hapa sasa zingine naweza kufanya hadi you give up in life na ukue na negative mindset wewe msee amesema hapa kwa comment section unaweza overcome hadi hiyo part so ile hadi isha nipata na pia imepata marafiki wangu wengi so that's uh, you need just to sit, settle down with your parents so waambie to write thing ni gani so waambie muzifos issue ka ka was kwa engineering uwezi so hakuna haja na pia unaweza unaweza involve marafiki wako waongee na wasasi wako ili waelezee wasasi ya kwamba this is the right thing ni passion yangu ndio nafuata so hakuna haja unalazimu jua hata ukinilazimisha sitaweza so hakuna haja yeah na kuna stories za kupiga sherehe na Neil kwa me mention uh, Frank alikuwa me mention kuna uh, kulingana na statistics nasema eh the more una piga sherehe the more una reduce life span yako but sisi kama boys kupiga sherehe yani ni tunaita sherehe sheria ni kama ni kama ni kama the more una piga sherehe the more unapata uh, furaha hadi kuna wimbo unasema furani sijui kufanya nini na marafiki do you agree ni kweli the more una piga sherehe the more enjoy maisha sama but then uh, me si agree sama but na agree sama do what if me biga share responsibility nini nitakufanyikia do uh-huh. si lazima niende kwa hiyo share na ni kunywa vibaya ama ni vanya usharati what if nime nimeenda share yes niende share ni piga responsibility share na sana soda ni kunywa ni jonje mangoma na nirudi nilale nini nitanifanyikia si takuvana yeah, nitaendelea na maisha uh-huh. yeah Uh, let me throw that question back to you uh, Frank. Yes. Uh, kupiga sherehe tuko kwa generation yenye kupiga sherehe ni sheria. <laughs> Kuna wimbo nyingi zina encourage you say kupiga sherehe. Ni kama Aina ibada. Na pressure yake yeah. but unajua we want to live uh, inaitwa we want to live a meaningful life tunataka tuishi life yenye ni fulfilling mm. maisha yenye iko na direction but at the same time kuna vitu mingi hapa along the way lazima uzi overcome. That's true. Right. Okay, kupiga sherehe vile mzangu amesema si lazima ufanye kile mwingine anasema. Hizi bodi ziko na energy ya bodi yangu na yako ni tofauti. So tukienda pale kukunywa labda umezoea hard drinks. Mimi napiga zile soft na nishika nga vizuri sabe kabisa. Huyo ukipiga tu hiyo hard zako kama tano ndio inakushi. So atuizi fuatana. Unaona? So lazima mtu akue anajijua. Unajijua then unajua kitu nataka. Ukikuwa na vitu kama hivyo itakusaidia because usiende upige sherehe baadaye unaisha okay yeah kwa sababu uwezi piga sherehe kama umekunywa chai na chapo mbili right alafu ile kunywa pa lazima uko umejibonda vizuri so lazima ujipange kwanza as you lazima ujipange ujue life yangu ni hivi nataka kwenda this direction and this is the way to go right. piga sherehe mwingine anapiga hiyo utaisha uta, uta, uta right 
Imani kumbusha kiti ya Self Life Ambassador. Kuna wase, kuna wase wenye ome, ome jitambo wazini. Utawana mse pale Instagram, anatesa kutesa, si luku, si maisha, si nini. Anapiga, anapiga sherei pia, iyo story na sherei, but wanasema siki la mse, siki la mtu anaweza fika hiyo level ya kuishi a such a life lazima u go through a certain process ya perseverance sa zingine ya conditions ziko so unbearable kama vile Edu ame mention kwa msema mse, mse mazo ya kuishi life ingine different ya environment tofauti ukienda huko ukipigwa na juu itabidi umehama lakini utakuta ni so certain pressure at the end of the day lazima uishi hiyo life na utakuta kuna mavijana au ni out of the way kufanya vitu zenye hadi you know zingine ataweza ongelea kuishi a certain life but at the end of the day unakuta sijuka unaweza kumbuka kuna time kwa news uh, kulikuwa na mse aliuawa and then wakasema allegedly mm. alikuwa kijana allegedly wakasema ni story na washwash na alijingiza hapo jua alikuwa anataka ku make doza haraka aishi maisha fiti kiaraka na ika end life yake hivyo tu and then kijana akaenda umekuwa unasema unapata life vile kila mtu maisha yake imepangwa tofauti sisi fata yako Okay, uh, I wanted to fix microphone yako bro as uh, we wait you can use that on naza mpea microphone out me you in the meantime yes yeah, you can continue so nasema lazima ujue vile maisha yako unataka kukua kama u youth lazima ukue na plan of your life that uh, let's say in the next 10 years au unajipea goal unajipea goal unajipea goal ya after 3 years unatafika wapi then ujue the way to follow yeah ama iko sawa yeah iko fit kuna yeah. kuna mtu kwa comment section amesema ukiacha kushughulika na maisha ya watu wengine utaishi maisha marefu <laughs> kweli kabisa. Uh -huh. How's your reaction on that? But then kuna, kuna wase ujishughulisha na vitu zenye si business yenye si hao. Kuna mtu alikuwa anasema uh, always drink a bottle of water and mind your business. Mm -hmm. So watu wengi wana mind biashara wengine sana. Na unakuta inakupa stress hadi inakuwa ni jealous. Ujua sasa hii as Frank ni kaza kushughulika na maisha yako. Ni kama nita waste my time that ningefanya kitu productive alafu ni nitafuta maisha yako nataka kuchunguza unaenda wapi unafanya nini you just need waste my time yeah. at the end of everything for you you are going to be successful in life but for me i'm going to nime waste like one month nikikufuatilia time na recover back ushaenda atua mingi mbele yangu right. unaona so hakuna haja wewe maisha ya mtu muachie wewe pambana na hali yako mkutane huko mbele Right. Yeah. Kuna, kuna mtu pia alikuwa amesema waache yeah. kama tiaro chafu <laughs> na it's an interesting comment. Unajua hii kama tiaro chafu ndio sijai understand fit. Na joko comedy bro kuna zile jokes wewe una, una crack <laughs> zenye unaweza tell like who msema nyana cheke na yeye mwenye acheki. Maybe hao wenye acheki ndio kama tiaro chafu. Yeah. <laughs> Ni kama uh, una hit kitu na our peak wanakuoneka kama si unafanya nini yenyewe? Okay kama toro chafu ni according to hivi naelewa ni wenye akutaki mema ukipanga like ili kazi yako ni kwa demoralized dim, wewe tu maisha yako yani vitu nafanya wanapinga kila kitu lakini hao lazima pia wakuwe kwa in life ili wako ni kama opposition kwa government wana to the right direction unaona yeah, yeah. eh wengine wako na roho chafu uh -huh. kuliko register ya shetani Ana kuna roho chafu kuliko? Register ya shetani. Yoni sana. Yoni kali sana. Na abu pass microphone to Edu. Edu ningependa kujua sana zile vitu zenye ushai ule uko unazifanya na ukawa na manzeni kiendelea naona nikaanapoteza maisha yangu. Na ukaacha kufanya and then all of a sudden life yako ika change, ukaanza kuishi life fit na kila kitu ikakuwa sawa. So, asante kwa swali. So, the first thing was uh, <coughs> just peer pressure. So, trying to compare myself with the kids from the wealthy background. 
So trying to fit like the way kama vile wanafaa una try kufaa hivyo na haiwezi. Yeah. So una try pia kukula venye wanakula haiwezi. So pale primary lemo tu ku, kujaelewa so nikasema asa nikangana kasema itoasha ni vile ndio anafaa na tu vizuri anataka kwa familia ambaye wako na pesa ya kuweza kumvalisha Aha. so acha ngangane tinungu so nangana kusanya pesa kusanya pesa nungu haiwezi na ndio njaa pia yeah. eh? na sangine nyumbani pia hakuna do so yenye umeangana kutafuta tafuta kwa marafiki so yeah. inabidi tu na unene chakula ukole so nikaamua tu kusema acha tu nikae nifaye kenye iko na maisha yaendelee and uh, also uh, in high school yeah. That was that uh, also another peer pressure. So kusema tunaenda kupiga jerema alflani wo wo wo. Then you don't have money maybe. I'm in Nairobi. Kupiga sherehe hiyo unapaswa maybe kwa Kisumu. Mm-hmm. Tunaenda maybe a badri ya mtu fulani. So na sina pesa. Itana lazima nataka kuenda huko kwa sababu nani yako huko. So kama sina do acha nikae. So niliamua kuacha hizo life. So uh-huh. kama sina sina. Uh-huh. Yeah. Na uh, kuliko na mtu pia alikuwa amemention story na mapenzi. <laughs> Kuna venye mapenzi fanya mabauchi yale wanakuwa heartbroken. Lakini anyways kila mtu amepitia story yake ya mapenzi kila msia kuna story yake alikataliwa kukaenda hivi na vile. Wengine hadi wakajua. Na kumbuka ile time ya corona kulikuwa na story mingi sana kwa news za mzee amejinyonga juu mwingine amemkataa ama mwingine amemkataa huyo akampiga na shoka na wakaenda hivyo wakaenda hivyo. Uh, kulingana na experience yako bro una, unaza unaza agree kwamba tunajiingizanga kwa vitu zenye yani hata tufaya kujiingiza at, at such an early age to a point unakuta vitu zenye unafoku unafanya at 30 umaanza kuzifanya at 21 yeah so mapenzi ni topic ambayo ni broad sana na difficult haitaeleka utaenjoy mapenzi na utakufa na itabaki dunia so Kwa hiyo jikimbiza na mapenzi. Mapenzi ukuleta uliulisaliwa kwa kuta na itakuwa. So according to me mapenzi mtu according to this age yenye niko sasa acha acha nijiongelee mimi. So mapenzi nilianza niko primary. Okay. So kuna venye sasa ina feel sasa hivi ninaelekea hadi ku kumaliza malisia shule. Uh-huh. I let it. So sasa hivi na feel kama hata ina bo juu nilianza mapema. Juu zaika kama inabo vile naendelea na, na maisha. Okay. Yeah. Sawa. So, uh, Ningependa kusikia sentiments zako Frank uh, kulingana na the same the same the same sentiments na ni ndio amepeana story ya kwanza kufanya vitu za ungefanya at 30 umaanza kujifanya at 21. Wa, wacha nikuambie. Hakuna kitu pao kwa hii maisha kama mapenzi. Number one, mapenzi kuna na sadio ku live long au inasaidia because yeah, unapata yeah. mtukio na pressure unapata mtu ku lean on uh-huh. kuambia eh nilikufanya hivi kuna kitu pia nikwambia nianze na gani kwanza sio hapo ya advice uh-huh. yeah number two, mapenzi ni kitu kwa in fact ningejua ningeza kwa baby baby class ah uh-huh. yeah aha uh-huh ile harakati ya ku anakusaidia pensi lenye kona raba wewe unamsaidia eh, cover ya kitabu ile harakati just na bidi mapenzi for that uh, unakuja nayo mapenzi ni kitu kwa sana tusidanganyane but wasio na wana bro unakuta msee alikrasha mwingine wewe mwingine alikuwa anampenda kampiga na shoka nini nini na ni maboys wa young two cases mimi <laughs> mwenyewe na lugha ya kwa, kwa, kwa approach them aha uh-huh. yeah ju msitana ni kama ku market your product okay nasema mimi wewe unazauzia mtu m- na anaishi karibu na tap <laughs> okay yeah ni vile utabrand maji yako uh-huh. mpaka uzia chukue same na mapenzi in short pr eh unapata wewe ni mtu tu hivi hivi lakini unanyanya mtoto wa mtoto wa dp dp president uh-huh. yeah, dp president una track unanyanganya dem okay vile umeji brand kwanza na vile umeteza lugha yako vile Uh, pata kulewa ama kuana ni wenye hawajui chini waliendea pale uh-huh. alafu ukidate msichana commit lazima you lay your plans na yeye first okay. day okay. mimi nayo nitaka to date ya kupiga tu sherehe eh, ukipata uh-huh. mbusiweza kuoa unaweza enda uniambie tu alafu nitakulis uende unaona oh, okay. si, eh, so eh, uku... day one aha uh-huh. 
Sira za mwenye But at a core heart broken though Wezi 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 core heart broken Wezi Okay. Ikwati, oh, watu ni kwambie kitu Aha. heartbreak Aha. and uh, ulcers Aha. ni ugonjwa ziko na same medication. Okay. Yeah, ni mental mind. Okay. Okay, ni mental game I mean ni mental game. Mhm. Uh -huh. yeah. Because uh uweze niambia eti mtu amekuambia eti nimekuacha so nataka kuwa na pressure kwa nyumba wote niacho. Aha. Tulizaliwa na yeye. But bro tumeona usome mejinyonga bro. Jo. Ameenda bro. I wish ngeni juu wa mapema. Okay. Ni wapea advice. Okay. Umeni kumbusha suwali. Nilikuwa ni mauliza. I do. Nilitu kama gani bro ulikuwa nafanya. Uka fika tuwa place. Uka ona. Hey manza ni kiaendelea. Naona life yangu itaenda. Ika bidu maacha. Ndo uka focus. Kuwa comedian. Kukula sana. Hey. How bro? Yeah. Uza kula kwa kuchukwe time yako. Kwa kitu ya. Maana wewe unakaza yake ni kukula tu. Aha. So unapunguza kukula sana na pia kutaka kuishi long pia the same the plan wacha kukula sana okay kukula sana mbuni ka a very small amount of food okay so kukula sana is the rate inenda kwa cho so going to waste money buying then wasting time going kwa cho unona so kitu juwe ni kukula sana na pia kukua na marafiki wengi in fact a real man mwanaume kama akona marafiki afai kufika 10 why exactly why i thought i thought bro the more friends unakuwa now the more adi network zako the more kati unahitaji help utakuwa na watu wa kukusaidia kwa haraka sana ama kuna bestango alikuwa na matanga na contact akona contact over 900 people kwa simu yake aliform whatsapp group only 5 people walimchangia mhm unaona The rest wako ah pole bro pole bro pole bro. So lazima ukue na marafiki wachache na wenye wanza kusaidia. That unapigia usiku sita usiku. Et bro, lando la kam lakini sina kitu. Si ni sort nitakuona vile tunafanya hivi baadaye. Na anakuambia sina lakini wacha nitafute nikutumie. Unaona? Those are kind of friends that you have. Not wenye wanakuambia ah ni haje manu walicheza haje sikia manu na wester maita kusaidia in life unaona so kuna na marafiki wachache ni wenye wanza kusaidia wenye wanza kuwa na wewe in bad and good time okay yeah edu niko na niko na swali ya kulikuwa kulikuwa na history ya msef lani alikuwa na trend ni mzae na ilikuwa inasemekana kwa hajai yoga for like 64 years. <laughs> And then to school ali yoga to be pop na kaenda. Au nadhani unadhani unadhani kufanya normal things inaza inaza sababisha mse aache kuishi maisha marefu. Kama kuoga tu kwenda kwa daktari kupata vaccine. But then kuna watu audio kwa na believe vaccines zinaza saidia. Mm. Alikuwa na believe akidungo ataenda. So summarize So nataka mimi na culture. So but uh, kufanya vitu vizuri inasaidia inakusaidia. Si eti ndio inakufanya nini? Inakusaidia sana. Kwenda kuona daktari si inakufanya uimprove afya yako. Unajua uko mgonjwa ama uko mgonjwa. So hiyo ni vizuri. Na kuoga ina ina improve even your brain. Una una think vizuri. Okay. Yeah, you, so you say ali fanya vibaya kuoga because alasa ile sabe kana kwa yoga for over 60 years. Na sikuwa yoga tu ndo akaenda. So ina maanisha kama angekuwa ameanza kuoga kwa mtoi angeishi long. So maybe yo chavu nje imemchika sana hadi. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Na uh, uh, tukimalizia uh, kuna 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 pressure kuna pressure uh, I think tuko tumeongea last story pressure kuna venye wazae kwa, kwa, kwa community zenye sisi tunatoka na I love the fact that you want to kwa community ya Kimasai kuna time venye ukimit ukimit wase when you are make it for example umeenda competition ama ulikuwa umesema kukatia msichana mwenye yako low class class ya juu kushinda kuna venye ina, ina kwa affecting self esteem yako na itafika to a place unataka kuoa but unakuwa na issues hapa na pa hadi kuna wasi hadi wana give up kabisa 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 kwa, kwa, kwa experience yako na community yako au mnafunzo wa ku manage aje issues kama hizo ama wewe unatafutiwa bibi and then kila kitu inakosa so according to my community uh -huh. so mama 
mambo na bibi ni wewe mwenyewe ndio huwa una approach kwanza okay. una approach mstana okay so ukisha approach mstana na uona kwa mgumu unatafuta mabeste Aha. so ukiona pia ameshinda mabeste sasa hapo ndio family wewe inaingilianga okay. so unajua family kama family yenu nilish hata kwa side ya mstana hata mstana akidifanya but when your family reaches their family then you inakuwa issue rais so unaomba tu oh you are ready always take her na inakuanga hivyo na rais hivyo mm. na kurenda na mtaratara hivyo mm. na unaishi maisha marefu sawa tuliko tumekuuliza pale kwa mtandao uh, mtu akitaka kuishi maisha marefu ni lazima achane na nini haswa and then mgeni um, anasema hey hey hiyo comment ni kali sana lavenda guto anasema good morning kuwa na negative mindset mgeni anasema veronica omboya anasema good morning aache kushughulika na maisha ya wengine Aha, Sham Diana Dash anasema aachane na Manchester United na Chelsea kabisa na kuona sana na kuona sana na kuona sana. And then kuna Davis Visco. <laughs> Davis Visco anasema good morning Y254. I take this chance to say sina maoni. Eh hey, sawa. And lastly, uh, Derek Tarel Alukwe unasema yesterday I managed to ask Goliath his side story. He said it was a gunshot, not a stone. Hey bro, hii ni Bible gani unasoma? And then ya mwisho kabisa interesting. Msafi KE anasema pombe sigara naweza acha bila kungangana lakini wewe wale tudanganya. <laughs> Sawa basi. Endelea ku interact nasi katika mtandao wetu kijamii. Sijui kama unaweza uko social media bro. Unaweza uh, sema social media zako Facebook kara kara katika. So niko WhatsApp. Okay. Kwa WhatsApp tuko sasa. Okay, sema mtu akitaka ku access WhatsApp na kupata wapi? So, nipate kwa WhatsApp na 07 11 20 75273. All right. Uh, uh fr- Frank, I'm um, too kitaka kwa access kwa WhatsApp ana kupata wapi? <laughs> I hope see WhatsApp maybe social media cuz when you comedian. Okay. Yeah, pamoja ni pat. All right. Okay. Yeah, papa hapa. Imebaki huko like na ngober idinadi. But shukran sana. Asante sana. Shukran sana. We should have had more time to delve into it topic. I feel like we should have a part two, yeah. but it's okay. And let's like interact nasi katika hashtag ambayo ni why in the morning pale katika mtandao wetu ya kijamii Facebook, Instagram na Twitter ni why254 channel. Personally naweza nipata at Brian Sako 101. Na pia kumbuka kusubscribe katika YouTube channel yetu ambayo ni Y254 channel. Shukran sana. Have an amazing